Okay, so ito naman po yung Tagalog version ng topic natin na multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers. So, madali lang yung topic natin. Meron tayong dalawang paraan, yung long method at yung short method. So, yung long method, ang gagawin nyo lang muna is i-multiply muna yung numerators. Okay, katulad nyan. So, 3 times 2 is 6. And then, over the product of the denominator. So, 9 times 3 is 27. Pagkatapos nun, saka mo siya ilolowest term by dividing it by the greatest common factor. Pareho sila. Ayun. So, here we have uh, 3 over 3. Kasi, ang greatest common factor nilang dalawa ay 3. So, divide mo pareho sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then, 27 divided by 3, we have 9. Okay? So, 2 over 9 yung sagot. Yung short method naman na sinasabi ko ay ganito. So, halimbawa, we have 3 over 9. Tapos, mamultiply natin sa 2 third. Ayan. Okay. I-divide muna natin o i-simplify muna natin siya bago po tayo mag-multiply. So, yung iba ang tawag dito, cancellation. But this is not cancellation method. This is uh, simplifying... Um, the fraction, okay, bago tayo mag uh, multiply through division, ang magdi-divide muna tayo ang totoo, nag-divide tayo, hindi tayo nag-cancel okay, so we have here now 2 over 9, yun yung ating result kasi naging 1 na tong dalawa so 1 times 2 is 2, 9 times 1 is 9, so dito naman tayo sa second example natin, sa second example meron tayo mixed numbers so kapag nag-multiply tayo, kailangan muna natin siyang gawing improper fraction, madali lang yun Una, i-multiply nyo muna yung denominator dun sa whole number and i-add ang result sa 1. So, 4 times 3, we have 12. Plus 1, we have 13. Okay? And then here, we have 4. So, over 4 na natin. Then, multiply the result by 8. Ayan, yung whole number natin dito. So, simple lang gagawin natin. May dalawa kayong choice. Pwede mong i-multiply si 13 kay 8. Tapos, saka mo i-divide or mag-divide ka muna bago ka mag-multiply. So, dito pipiliin ko mag-divide muna kasi 8 is divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, 13 times 2 is 26. Okay, so ang result natin is 26. Para naman sa ating third example, ang gagawin natin ay ganun pa rin. Kung mixed number yan, gawin mo improper fraction. So, 3 times 1, we have 3. Plus 2, we have 5. Okay? And then, copy the denominator 3. So, dito, ayan, 2 times 2, we have 4. Plus 1, we have 5. So, we have here 5 over 2 naman. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala kang madidivide dyan. Nakasimplify na kasi sila lahat. Or, ayun, hindi mo na siya masisimplify pa kasi simplest form na siya. So, go ka na lang dun sa long method. Multiply mo muna yung numerator sa numerator. So, 5 times 5 is 25. And then, 3 times 2 is 25. Six. So, ang susunod mo naman gagawin dyan ay gawin mo siyang mix numbers. Okay, so kung imimix mo siya, ang gagawin mo lang, okay, yung numerator, i-divide mo dun sa denominator. So, we have here 25 divided by 6, and ang answer natin dyan ay 4. Kasi 4 times 6 is 24. So, meron pa tayong remainder na 1. So, sa makatuwid, um, uh, mix form itong 25 over 6 is 4 and 1 over 6. 6.